<laughs> Finally, it is day 12 of Brett's Booze Reviews, Days of Halloween, only a week before Christmas. Uh, we're finishing out with our Urban South goodies, the Snickers Cream Ale. Uh, so this should be similar to the Port Orleans, except this one's not a stout, this is a cream ale. Uh, so it's going to have the chocolate, peanuts, and caramel. Let's see if this one uh, lives up to the hype of the other one, if this one's better or worse. We'll see. Uh, remember, the Port Orleans got an 8.5, a, a, a pretty high number for a stout beer. And right off the bat, this is an ale. So it it's a cream ale, and it's pouring out very well. And it's pouring very well. Not much head on this one. So that's already a good sign for it when there's not a whole lot of head. And right off the bat, I get hit with the caramel scent. Like, um, you can get a good look at the uh, can here for this one. It says goodies on it. Um, I get hit with the caramel notes right off the bat. The smell of caramel is strong on this one. Um, caramel and chocolate. And this one does contain lactose, just like the other one. Except this one is, again, an ale. Looks more like a pilsner than anything, but um, it's a cream ale. So let's dive into this one, see if this one is better or worse, or if it it's equal. Let's see how it compares to the uh, Port Orleans Stout. So, I mean, there's really no, there's really going to be a big range of difference for the fact that this one's a, a ale and that one was a stout. So this one's going to be a lot lighter, obviously. Um, right off the bat, caramel hits you like that. Uh, there's some chocolate notes. The peanuts kind of, the peanut flavor kind of comes through, uh, kind of sneaks up on you there. But it is good. Uh, this is really delicious. I'm gonna pour the rest of this in the, uh, pour the rest of this out. And I like the, the the color, the consistency as it comes out the can. It's a great color and a great consistency. I'm really digging that. And get you one more look at that can. Um, it's not. As snickersy as the, uh, it's not as snickersy as the uh, Port Orleans can. That one looks more like a Snickers uh, wrapper than this one does. But it it's, it has some similarities in the colors of the can. But I do like them for the two comparison. Um, like I said this one is an ale. This one's a stout, and this got an eight and a half. And this is damn good for a uh, a cream ale. It's more candy than anything. I said the only thing that's missing is some nougat. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to give this one, uh, I think this one went 8.25. I, I could be wrong. Uh, we'll refer back to the, uh, the scoreboard to check on that. I think this was an 8.25. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead and give this one a little bit higher. I'm going to give this one an 8.5. Uh, just simply for the fact that it's an ale, not a stout. Stouts are really not my favorite type of beer. Um, but this one is light, it's crisp, it has good flavor to it, it's got good, it's not like a bite kind of thing, um, it's not something that's there, but it's good, it's refreshing, and for like a sweet treat, a dessert beer, I gladly would drink this again, except for the fact that this is my last one, um, I sold the other two, I sold, I sold two other ones, and the, uh, actually I drank this one, I drank one of these, um, the night of the Hurricane, Hurricane Zeta, which is what put us behind on this series. Um, my power went out. First thing I did was, let me dr drink one of these beers. Um, but I can say, substantially, this one's been chilled a lot longer than that one was. And this one, good and cold, just came out the fridge, is very delicious. And like I said, I would drink this again. Um, if Port Orleans brought this back, or Urban South, excuse me, if Urban South brought this back, either one of these two companies brought these two beers back, I would gladly drink them again. Uh, so that's a that's high recommendation to say that I would drink these again. Uh, but like I said, 8.25 on the stout, 8.5 on the cream ale. Really good. Uh, wrap this episode up. This was episode 72. I think I did my math correctly. This is episode 72. So with that said, we're wrapping up here. Uh, we're getting ready to go DJ a Christmas party. Yes, that's my other side gig. That's one of my other, many other jobs. We're going to DJ a Christmas party in a little bit after I finish recording this. So, uh, hopefully we'll be back 
maybe another episode or two before Christmas. We'll see how the uh, how life plays out. There's a lot of things going on here. So if I don't see you guys before then, Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays all you guys. Be well and stay safe. Uh, drink responsibly. Don't drink and drive. And uh, be good. And if you can't be good, be good at it. And we'll see you guys for bigger and better things in 2021. So here's to you.